Hello, welcome to your practice. Today we're going to work on 10 poses to stretch and strengthen. So it's going to be a nice, short, efficient practice. It's going to work the whole body. It's going to stretch our body. It's going to strengthen and tone our body. I think you're going to love it. And we're going to get started in child's pose. So come down onto knees. Big toes barely touching, knees separated apart. We're going to hinge forward, bring the forehead down to rest, and we're going to take an extended child's pose. So your forehead rests on the mat, and you're stretching the hands forward. The elbows are up off the mat. The fingers are spread nice and wide. Take a few breaths into the low belly. Feel the whole back stretch and expand. Feel the shoulder braids soften and move apart and move down into the back. Let your neck be long. Let your breath be nice and slow and smooth. Good. Stretching all the way from the hips up through the spine, through the shoulders, through the arms, all the way to the fingers. And now we're going to make our way up into hands and knees. Keep the hands exactly where they are. And we're going to come up to hands and knees. We're going to move into downward dog. So move your knees a little closer together. Look at the hands. Fingers spread nice and wide. Index fingers are parallel. Curl your toes under. Inhale. With your exhale, we're going to lift up, shift back into our downward dog. Tuck the chin. Top of the head pointing towards the floor. Let's walk it out a little bit. One heel lowers, other heel lowers. Let the legs get a nice stretch. The arches, the calves, the hamstrings. Belly pulls in and up. Keep the back of the neck long. Press the floor away from you with the hands to strengthen the arms and shoulders. Press the floor away from you with the feet to stretch the legs and the hips, and that belly pulls in and up. Bring the heels level with each other. Put a little bend in your knees. Look forward a bit and start to walk the hands back towards the feet. We're going to come into a standing forward fold. So the feet are hip width apart. We've got a little bend in the knees. If your back needs support, can bring elbows to the knees. If your back's feeling OK, then let the arms hang or grab opposite elbows, and we're just going to let the backs of the legs get a stretch, the neck gets a stretch, the spine gets a stretch. Pull the belly in and up. Some nice, smooth inhales, nice, smooth exhales. The weight's even on both feet, right foot, left foot, and maybe just a little bit more into the ball of the foot. So try not to sink back, lean back into the heels. Maybe bring that weight just a little bit more into the ball of the foot. Couple more breaths. Inhale through the nose and exhale through an open mouth. Nice. Let's bring hands up to above the knees. Nice bend in the knees. Lift the chest into a halfway lift and squeeze the shoulder blades together. With strong legs, long spine, we're going to hinge all the way up to standing. Good. Just the clothing. We're going to take a standing back bend. So these feet are hip width apart. Feel good and grounded down through the feet. Engage your thighs, firm up your legs. You're going to bring the hands to the low back. And we're going to press the hips down to lengthen the low back and push the pubic bone forward as you lift the heart up towards the ceiling. Pull the elbows in towards each other to work the shoulders. Keep lengthening the low back and keep pushing the hips and pubic bone forward. And we're looking up slightly. Big breath, standing back bend. Nice and slow, we're going to come out of that. Let the arms come down by your side. Inhale, both arms up, palms face each other. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Take the right hand, hold the left wrist. 
Inhale, with your exhale, lean to your right. So we're stretching this left side. Head is right in between the arms. The weight's even on both feet. And maybe put just a little bit more weight into the left foot to get, give the left side a little deeper stretch. Big breaths into the low belly. Gonna inhale, come to center. And we'll take the left hand, hold the right wrist. Inhale, with your exhale, lean to the left. Good, head right in between the arms. Weight even on the feet, and now put just a little bit more weight into that right foot to give the right side a little deeper stretch. Big breaths. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, we're gonna bring the arms down by our side. We're gonna go into a forward fold, so inhale, with your exhale, hinge forward from the hips, put a little bend in the knees, and you're going to bring your fingertips down to the floor. Keep that bend in the knees, and we're going to start to walk forward into a plank. So pull the belly button up towards the spine, walking forward until shoulders are over wrists. Fingers spread nice and wide. Lift up between the shoulder blades and press the floor away from you with the hands. Pull your belly button up towards the spine and tuck your tailbone down towards your heels. Engage the whole body. Push the heels away from you. So the legs are strong, the arms are strong, the core is strong. You can always drop down to the knees if you want to modify this. Couple more breaths. Keep pressing the floor away from you with the hands. Lift up between the shoulder blades. Pull the belly button up towards the spine. Push the heels away from you. Good. Nice and slow now. Come down to the knees. Come into table pose. So walk the hands back now so that the wrists are under the shoulders. Knees are under the hips. Fingers still spread nice and wide. We're going to do a bent knee leg lift. So keep your right knee bent. And we're going to bring the bottom of the right foot up towards the ceiling. Nice hip stretch. And then we're going to bring that right knee back down to the mat. Inhale, lift the right foot up as high as it will go. Exhale, tap the right knee down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keep your neck nice and long. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one of these. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Now we're going to take the left leg in that same move. So keep your left knee bent and we're going to lift the bottom of the left foot up to the ceiling as high as it will go and then tap the left knee back down to the mat. Inhale, lift the left foot up. Exhale, left knee comes down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. We're going to come to sit on the mat. So turn around, bring your bottom down. We're going to come down onto our back for a crunch. So center yourself down on the mat. We're going to take this crunch with wide knees. So take cobbler's pose for the legs. Bottoms of the feet together, knees open. We're going to bring the hands back behind the head and the elbows are nice and wide. Want to keep those elbows wide. We're going to engage the core. So pull the waistline down into the mat. Pull your belly button down, press the waistline down into the mat. We keep the knees wide to take the, the legs out of it. So we're just using core. We're going to inhale. And as you exhale, lift up. Just the head and the chest lift straight up. Don't pull on the head. Elbows wide. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift the face and the chest straight up. Don't pull on the neck. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Press that waistline down into the mat. Keep the knees wide. Inhale, lower. Two more. Exhale, lift. Press the waistline down. Inhale, lower. Last one. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Bring the arms down by your side. Bring the knees together. Going to roll over onto your side, either side. We're going to go into clamshell. So make a pillow for your head with the bottom arm. 
Your knees are stacked on top of each other, heels in line with your hips. So we're here on our side. The top hand is going to be on the hips to make sure that the hips stay stacked. We're going to inhale, lift the top knee up. The feet stay together. Don't roll the hips back. And then exhale, lower that top knee down. Inhale and lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Keep those hips stacked. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Don't roll backwards. Exhale, lower. Last one of these. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Roll onto your back. Roll onto your other side. So your bottom arm is going to stack, make a pillow for your head. Your knees stack on top of each other, heels in line with your hips. Top hand is on the hips to make sure they stay stacked. Feet stay together. Inhale, lift the top knee up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Keep those hips stacked. Don't roll backwards. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale that top knee. Exhale, lower. We're going to roll all the way onto our back for a hip and piriformis stretch. So on your back, stretch both legs out. Both feet are flexed. Now we're going to take the right ankle and bring it to the left thigh. Keep your right foot flexed, and we're going to move that right knee down towards the floor. A couple breaths here, breathing into that outer right hip and thigh. Good. So this is the same kind of stretch we do when we have the left knee bent, but we're, this time we're going to have that left leg stretched out and that right knee opens as far out to the right and down towards the floor as it will go as we take a few breaths here. Good. Lift the right knee slightly and stretch that right leg out. Both feet stay flexed and then we're going to take the left ankle to the right thigh left foot flexed. We're going to move that left knee down towards the floor. So we're feeling this in this left hip and outer left thigh. Big breaths here, both feet flexed. Take some nice slow breaths into the belly and just feel that stretch on this left side, left piriformis, left hip flexors, left hip itself. Lift the left knee slightly and stretch the left leg out. Good. Both arms come up overhead. Reach the right side a little longer, left side a little longer, just stretching side to side. Good. Bring everything to center. Arms come down by your side. Let's bend our knees. Good. Bring the hands back behind the thighs behind the knees, and we're going to roll all the way up to sitting. So come up, rolling yourself up to sitting. Sit tall, sit comfortable, and you are done. Those are our 10 stretches, our yoga stretches to stretch and strengthen. So I hope you liked it. Uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone, and I'll see you next time. Bye.